Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to now use the Diffuse Glow to, in a double way, um, because Diffuse Glow affects the light areas, but we can use it also to affect the dark areas, and effectively we're going to do a dodge and burn in an almost sort of automatic way, without having to do lots of painting and, and so on. So let's get going with that. First of all, we're going to hit Control J, and when we select this layer, Control J, there we go, and that gives us an extra layer there. So we're going to do the, the burning on that. We'll turn that off at the moment and we'll quickly go through the dodging, which is making it lighter to get a diffuse glow on that. And uh, this starts the default, but to uh, quick way of doing this is radius down and everything else up. And uh, then because the threshold's at the top, nothing's happening. So we bring the threshold down until it starts affecting the area here. And we're effectively choosing how much of those light areas to we're going to affect. So let's say about there. And then we bring down the intensity to say how much of that is going to be going to actually do. So that breaks that down. So we get areas within that coming through. So I've just got a solid area. Then we'll bring down the opacity to soften that again. This is just like we're using an ordinary opacity here, but it, again, it, it sort of eases it back. And then finally, I'm going to pull up the radius, which blurs those areas and softens them. Then I'm going to go back and play with it all again, just to see there. Now we're fine tuning it. So we go around this you know, tweaking area things until it looks natural. That's the bottom area line of what we're going to do. Is this going to look like it's just ordinary light on it? So there we go. That's that's good enough for that. Now then, we can turn that off for now. Turn on the top one. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to invert it because, and then when we put an invert on it, we're going to put a invert layer there. And let's open it up so we can see it. Effectively, now what we've done is made the darks light. So when we do a diffuse glow on this, it will work on that as, as we expect. To make it a bit easier to see, so we're going to temporarily put on a black and white filter so we can see darks and lights a little bit more easily. Then, selecting the, the top each time, we'll put in the diffuse glow. And turn that off and then go back up again, click on the layer each time and put on an invert. So now what we're going to do now is go back to that diffuse glow here and do the same sort of thing. Turn these up here, turn that down and now look at the threshold effect. See now that well, as I bring this down it's the darks which are affected. So we're going to sort of work into the dark area that you say this is the let's say that's the area you want to affect bring down the intensity so it's just looking a bit more sensible instead of being completely black bring down the opacity effectively to a blend a bit better in to that and then bring up the radius to soften it and smooth that out and then play with these others here, make it a bit darker and so on and just tweaking now, just fine tuning it until you're happy now working on those shadows. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn off the black and white so it goes back to colour and we can play a little bit further on this yeah so we can get this as happy as we like. Then I'm going to turn the bottom layer on which you can't see at the moment because this layer is completely over the top of it and go normal down here and go down to soft light. And there we go. And then we can play with the opacity of that as well. And in here, or we can go on and do it in the diffuse glow area and so on. So let's have a look at before and after. We need a before and after for this, don't we? So I'm going to do a control J just to get an extra layer at the bottom here. I'm going to take that diffuse glow off. 
then I click, click on the top one and shift click to the bottom one, then control G just to put it all into a group so I can turn that off. So I turn that off there, that's before and that's after, before and after. And we can go on, we've got a number of fine tunings, we can go in and tweak any of those settings, but we've already brightened it up and, and done a lot of change to the photograph and put a lot more contrast and character into that. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.